Well, now we transition to another special performance. This is uh, representing the Transition House and Griffin Memorial Hospital. This is uh, with Steve Boyer, who's representing Griffin Memorial Hospital, and he also works closely with Transition House, as well as Baylor Brennan, who is the daughter of Mary Hopkins, and along with J.C. Hopkins, who is the husband of Mary Hopkins, who both uh, work for the Transition House. And they will be singing Amazing Grace.
Oh, thank you guys. That is so amazing. Um, the, the, the reason um, I love that song is I think it's such a beautiful song for those of us that are in recovery. You know, and it's such a beautiful song because, you know, all of you out here that are, are working in the organizations, you know, that are there for us with all the times that are going hard and all the financial crunches and everything, you're there, you're our amazing grace. You're the ones that are helping us to have this journey. Um, I'm just going to share a little bit because tonight is about celebrating recovery. Yeah. all of us that are working to help us stay in recovery you know but real, real quick um, my journey into mental health and substance abuse started I was 11 years old and I had a traumatic incident what happened was I was threatened with my life so what it what it did is it taught me for many 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 years um, not to talk about things you know and and I have all these other things that are happening and I don't talk about them. the reason this is my tenth year at the June Bug Jam. I'm a 2009 graduate of Transition House. The reason I keep coming back is for a few different reasons. Is one, I get to come back and give my gratitude to all you guys for another year in my recovery. Two, is I get to show that long-term recovery does happen. sharing our stories and talking about what's going on with us is very, very, very important. If we're not talking about what's happening with us, if we're not sharing our stories with others, all of our providers that are out in the audience tonight have no clue on how they can help us. I'm not saying everybody come up on stage. Am I scared tonight? Yes. <laughs> is my stomach turning? Yes. And does picturing all of you guys sitting in your underwear? No, Jessica, it does not work. <laughs> But, but the thing is, is, is I'm hoping to give strength and I'm hoping to give hope, you know, because we, we need to talk about what's going on. We, it, it's like every time we turn around, there's one of us in recovery that just can't talk anymore, you know, and there's a lot of sad things. I'm one of the fortunate ones that's still around today, you know, but what I learned is when I started sharing my story and when I started letting people know what was going on, I found multitudes of help, and I found people that care. You know, I started my journey over at Griffin. They got me on the right medications. They, they gave me that purpose to live again. I was over at Central Oklahoma Community Mental Health Center, and I was doing my outpatient. I was doing groups, groups over there. And then I got myself into Transition House, and there I got to blossom, and there I got to start using the tools that I was taught from the different organizations. You know, and there's many other organizations here tonight, you know, that are there helping people and they're there to help us recover. And all we have to do is we have to take the action and we just need to let them know what's going on with us so they can help. I am so blessed to be with you guys tonight and this I look forward to this every year. This is my main thing because like I say, I keep I've made another year in recovery. My my recovery date is November 29, two thousand seven. But as I was saying before, this is not about me tonight. This is all about us. We are a team tonight. All of you in recovery. All of you here that are helping to support. You know, thank you guys so very, very much. Um, Malia, can I get the house lights from you, please? Well, you have clothes on. <laughs> cool. <laughs> no. What I'd like to do now, would everybody here that's here tonight that works in some facility or helps others in their recovery, would you please stand up?
awesome, so thank you very, very much, and I'm so proud to be one of you. Um, real quick, um, if you have not noticed or have had, not had a chance to go, there is a container up by the ticket office where you buy tickets, and it's a fundraising job. If you can think about it during break or on your way out, and you can find it in your hearts to give a little bit, because we are working with a fundraiser tonight. Um, thank you. What I last one I want to say is thank all of you guys for my life.